So a quick little video for Curtis Creek Drive here. First thing that's a little weird is that some of these nails are underdriven. You can tell. Let's see if I can get under there and see. Uh, you can't really tell, but like there's a. Uh, you know, you, you can see that they're they're kind of underdriven. I'll see if I can get to a better one. So the tab's sticking up a bit, but it's still glued down good. Um, this valley here's a bit weird. The hot the lower side should have been the side running up and under and then the side that's higher could have been running over top but that's not it's not it's not a big deal here it just looks kind of weird the way it's cut and and um, you know there's no metal in there so hopefully they did the underlayment good um, this one plumbing stack here is kind of weird because they should have these couple rows of shingles should have been still running over top and uh, you know and definitely I don't know like yeah it just looks yeah I don't like that <laughs> because you know rain and stuff it's it's only an inch away from getting in here and if it gets in here well there's the hole cut in there so I don't know it's not really done all that well, to be honest with you, but, um, um, you know, we could slap some tar on there for you when we do the garage roof if you like, but I, I wouldn't feel right. Okay, here I'm noticing another thing. These valleys, you're supposed to keep your nails uh, six inches away from the center. And it looks like these guys are nailing right up to it. It's hard to like see the cook because it, it is glued, but here. See, that's a nail. That nail shouldn't be in this little key line anyways. It's supposed to be where it's not exposed. But the fact that it's right near the valley, that kind of tells me there's probably lots of nails near the valley. So that's another thing that can cause, can, can leak. I'm just trying to see here. Okay, here you can see these nails. If I get the phone down enough, maybe you'll see they're kind of sticking up. Hey, eh? see that? So eventually it'll poke through the top of the shingle. I mean, all in all, this was probably supposed to be a 30 year roof, and I don't know. I think you'll probably want to be maintaining it. Uh, probably a lot a lot sooner than that i can measure it and then we'll tell you how much it would cost to replace it if you want anyways okay